All right, so this is my first time attempting uh, any kind of mast repair or riveting for that matter. Uh, so I bent my uh, spreader bracket right here a little bit. It was actually bent worse, uh, and I tried to kind of put it back where it belongs, but it's just not quite perfect. Um, so you can see there's a little bend here, and then the whole thing is angled kind of this way. Um, so the spreader bars, when they're out, uh, they line up pretty good. And when they're actually secured in the folded position like this one is now, um, they, they line up. But, you know, I know this piece is weak since it got bent and then got bent back. And it's a $15 piece. Um, so I don't think it's worth risking a $900 mast and $600 worth of standing rigging and shrouds um, for a $15 part. So, you know, I don't want to save 15 bucks and end up costing me even more, not to mention any damage that might happen if the mast, you know, fell in the boat. So uh, we'll see how this goes. So you can see I was able to get the first one out. Uh, what I did, so this is a 3 16 inch um, rivet. And a lot of folks told me, oh, use a 3 16 inch drill bit. But I had also heard use one size smaller um, to just take off this head and basically you know create a gap where it meets the the internal little tube inside the shaft um, and so that's what i did i used an 11 64th inch drill bit so you can see one size smaller than the 3 16th so 11 64th inch drill bit uh, just kind of drill in there a little bit and then uh, basically i got in there with a little wire cutter and was able to bend the head a little bit and get a grip on it with some pliers and it came right off and then just a couple light taps on the uh, the rivet that was still in there and so basically was able to pop it out um, so that worked pretty good of course now the rivet is in my mast which I can get out because it's uh, it's just hollow in there All right, so you can kind of see here where I uh, was able to get a hold of the head and uh, just comes right off. So very nice. And you know, that way using a smaller drill bit, I'm making sure I'm not uh, enlarging the hole that's in the in the mast. So which is important. All right, so you can see here the, the body of the rivet is actually still in there, the little shaft. So that's... Uh, that's this part right here at the end so you can see I didn't enlarge the hole at all because the shaft is still in there so I just drilled off the very the head right here that sticks out once you put the rivet in and break off the shaft so that's a pretty good way of uh, drilling out those rivets you know one one drill bit smaller than the size of the rivet and then just kind of pry them off so that worked really well. All right, so my next task is uh, to bend this little tang uh, that's on the uh, spreader bracket. So you can see this is the original one, and this is the new factory one. And so I got to get that angle to match. And uh, so my tool of choice for doing that is uh, the biggest crescent wrench I can find and a piece of cloth. So I'm just going to wrap that around there, and then that. You know, I don't you like to use uh, like a vice grip or pliers because it might leave little scratches and notches. This has a nice flat edge. You know, you wrap it in a towel and then it applies very even pressure across that whole tang. So hopefully I'll get a nice bend and can match that angle. It's not really much to bend, but uh, all right, we'll give that a shot. All right, so uh, I did my bend and. Uh, as you can see, they're very well lined up. This is the original one. This is the new one. Um, so you can see that tang on the front is now perfectly aligned. And uh, I think that's going to work. It's also worth going ahead and placing the uh, spreader bracket and checking the alignment with the undamaged bracket just to make sure that, you know, it's not some weird angle. Uh, so this looks... This is pretty good with the uh, original undamaged one. Bought a couple ones in case I need them. These are my 3 16th inch rivets. And uh, we'll use this rivet gun here to uh, go ahead and put those in. So this is my first time doing it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so there's my completed spreader bracket. Good as new.
Okay, so that looks uh, looks pretty good. All right, so I was able to uh, recover all the pieces from uh, inside the mast here. So uh, that's good because that way I won't have any stuff rattling around or or rusting inside the mast. But uh, so cool, yeah, pretty happy with uh, the result. The uh, the bracket, uh, you know, one of the rivets was loose before, which was one of my concerns. Not to mention. Uh, whatever metal fatigue and the, and the bending that happened to it. Um, so now, even though some of the heads don't lay completely flat, um, they are all tight. And, you know, they're no worse than the, uh, the undamaged bracket on the other side. So, you know, it's just a function of the width of the nose of the uh, rivet gun and being able to get, you know, up against flush up against the side of that bracket. So, you know, you have to put the rivet in first and then basically put the rivet gun over it and just push down as hard as you can. And uh, again, even though they're at an angle, the uh, the rivets are all nice and tight now. So the bracket doesn't doesn't shake anymore. So that's what I was going for. So awesome. Got a nice, strong, undamaged, brand new bracket.